So without further ado, man, you already know how we cracking too. We gonna get in. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Coop's Kicks, man. Look, we finna get to it today, man. You already see it is another, yes, another. Like I said before, guys, I am gonna bring you a couple of these, man. So it's gonna be seven videos total, straight Air Maxes. Um, like I said, I am busy doing other things. Um, go back and check out that Air Pity One video, man, as you guys already see over there. Then make sure y'all go check out that Deion Sanders throwback video as well. And then, man, y'all already know we kept it real with the Air Penny 2. So, you know, I already got to bring something to you, man, that's legendary, that is a part of the game, has been a part of sneaker culture, man. Was one of the hottest shoes in the 90s. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a second to kind of let that brain think for a minute. Um, this gentleman uh, was basically a nobody in college. Ended up going uh, to a team, uh, probably playing with one of the greatest players ever to play the game. Um, and I'll give you guys a few seconds to ponder on that. SP is the initials at the end of the day, man. We gonna get to it, man. We got the Scotty Pippen. Who made this shoe famous? And it was brought out as a Scotty Pippen, which first released in 1996, guys, for those of you who didn't know. Um, this was one of the most striking um, you know, creations in the 90s, man, that Nike brought, man. So without further ado, man, y'all already know how we crack into it. We're going to get into the review, man. Y'all already see what time it is, guys. You guys see it right here. We have the Air More Up Tempo SP, you know. Um, like I said, I do wear my shoes, man. So if you guys see a lot of the reviews and what have you, uh, you know, I do rock my shoes at the end of the day, man. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys, man. Mostly one of the most iconic shoes, man, I have ever seen. Um, you know, when this shoe originally released, like I said, guys, back in 1996, um, you know, this was a crucial shoe for marketing, which was very smart on their end, uh, you know, with Scottie Pippen um, and Nike, man, well, they knew what they were doing. The Bulls were already lined up going for that second three-peat. Um, there was a lot of controversy coming on, and Pimp wasn't just a role player, man. He was, he was the guy, man. The guy next to Michael Jordan. If Michael Jordan was out, you depending on Pimp to play the game, come in, man. Pimp had a cold uh, banker three from the corner, um, where he could take you to the hole and bang on you. You know what I mean? He could post you up, hit you with a couple moves there, man. Most of all, Pimpin was strong, man. He was a, he was a pretty big dude, man. But, you know, here we are, man. Just wanted to bring this to you. Another iconic. Y'all see how they just hit you. You feel me? Y'all see how the air just hit right here, man. Y'all got that classic colorway, man. Y'all got the pit right here in the middle of the PIP with the basketball, which is his signature, um, you know, on that sneaker, man. Just putting it on there, man. And this shoe is just well built, man. It was different. Um, it was iconic, man, how Nike decided to put a shoe like this um, and be creative and, and get a word in here. And then also with the creativeness to kind of bring that down. And you see that black where it comes down to meet the rubber. Uh, like I said, we do wear our shoes over here, man. But like I said, I'm dropping y'all straight gems from my collection. Um, I've had these for a while now. Uh, I think my second pair, I maybe have the OGs. I probably have to dig and see and look, to be honest with you. Um, you know, man, but these shoes, I'm telling you guys, when those shoes came out, man, it was classic. Couldn't go wrong with this one. Changed the game. And when I say the pip, you guys see that pip, man. So like I said, P, I, with the dot. And then Pete as well here again, you know. We got Michael Jordan, man. We give our shout outs and shout outs to do. Y'all see the Air Penny one right there, man. Like I said, I rock with a lot of classics, man. For me to start this channel, I felt like I got to bring you guys some of the old school, you know, of the heat that I really grew up off of, that I really rock with, that I keep near and dear in my collection, not just Air Jordans, you know what I'm saying, or not just certain things. I collect things that, you know, attract me. Whether it's Reebok, you know, Nike, Adidas, you know, whatever that case may be, man. But this shoe was so iconic, um, you know, just with the hints of the black here. Um, you guys see the white with that nice little line up here, the stitching and everything. And then you got that nice see-through 
air unit at the bottom. Um, and that, that, to me, that's what made the shoe. Um, and then Pippen made him iconic at the end of the day, man. So do not sleep on Scotty Pippen, man. Um, you know, like I said, he was a role player, um, you know, um, is what a lot of people would call him, you know. But to me, without Scotty Pippen, uh, Michael Jordan may have won a couple of championships, but without Scottie Pippen, I think Michael Jordan doesn't do or accomplish those, um, you know, those goals that were set out for them to do, man. And I'm not taking anything away from Mike, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying there was a lot of iconic other players out. Um, and this is what I was talking about with sneakers, man, how it takes you to back to the old school days, man, where everybody had a sneaker man if you haven't go back and check out the penny one video man where i kind of talk about you know the pippins the barclays the kids you know the chris webbers uh you know the tim duncan so you got a lot of shoes man to me that are sitting under under the radar you know what i mean because there's so many different things that come out with jordan brand uh with certain things that come out with jordan brands i should say pretty much every week or every two shoes a week uh, to be honest with you, man. And, you know, at some point when you're looking at that, you know, you kind of lose the essence of some of this, you know, some of this iconic stuff right here. You know what I mean? That that really hit that vibe for me, you know what I mean, when I was younger um, and, and getting into the sneaker game, man. Like I said, you couldn't go wrong with this shoe. Uh, in my opinion, it was very sturdy. Um, it's going to definitely last over the test of time. I can tell you guys that for sure on that. I'm definitely going to keep bringing these throwback bangers, man. We're not going to stop doing that, man, because I promise you guys, like I said, we're going to do seven days of Air Max. No matter what, I'm going to play it down at seven videos. I've also got some other stuff coming as well. Got that double up video and them breads. I promised you guys, too. Uh, the band bread ones, of course. Um, and like I said, man, go back if you haven't and check out the original band bread video that I did when they first were released. I did pick them up the night before or the night of. Can't remember, you know, but definitely go check it out, man. So, you know, I'm going to keep dropping these videos, man. Like I said, I'm not going to stop. We're going to keep bringing them to you, man. Like I said, this is the Air More Up Tempo. You know, this was Scottie Pippen's most famous shoe, uh, you know, back in 1996. It was a critical period for Chicago Bulls, man. They were on their second trail for that second three-peat, guys. So, you know, keep in mind, Pippen knew, Nike knew uh, with this shoe. It was definitely a marketing scheme. The Bulls are going back to their second, uh, trying to do their second three-peat. And, uh, you know, to me, it was smart for Nike to do this and run with Pitt, man. And that's why I tell y'all, Scottie Pippen is underrated. Uh, do not let it fool you, man. Scotty Pippen's underrated. He learned from one of the greatest, but he ended up being one of the greatest, too. So you cannot sit back and, you know, throw Scotty under the bus and say, you know, he's not this, he's not that, man. At the end of the day, man, he's a legend. He's won championships right next to Michael Jordan. And that shoe, to me, is more iconic. Um, I did see where he is getting ready to release some new joints uh, through flight. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, man. I'll definitely bring you guys a video on that too as well. I've been digging in the pot, man. I got a lot of different stuff brewing. Um, you know, real creative right now. Uh, but we just gonna keep bringing you what we do, man. Like I said, I know I like to keep the reviews under 10, 15 minutes, uh, but I definitely had to bring this one to you, man. That red and that black and that white. If you keep these clean over time, they're gonna hold and do what they gotta do, man. And we do wear our shoes. We do wear our shoes out here, baby, at the end of the day. So next up, we'll have another video for that Air Max. I believe that'll be number five or six. Uh, but you can, you can go back and check that out on your end. Number five or six, I do got an Ultimate Classic coming up after this one, man. So make sure y'all lock in to see what's next, man. And we just gonna discuss it. Nike does re-release a lot of sneakers. Um, you know, over and over again, whether it's with the consent of the athlete or whether it's not. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, man. So, so y'all stay locked in, man. Got a lot of stuff brewing in the pot, you feel me? We're gonna keep videos coming. We are gonna keep this throwback thing coming. Like I said, throwback number five. We got the Air More Up Tempo 1996, man, from Pip. Y'all already know what time it is, man. 
but we gonna keep running it up, man. I got a real special gem for you guys next up. Make sure y'all lock in to that, man. So we need y'all to hit that notification bell. Definitely need you to lock in to that. Hit that notification bell, hit that like button if you are enjoying the videos, man. Goes a long way for what I'm trying to do, man. It will only be sneaker news, sneaker reviews, shoe content, new drops, and live cops over here, man. So y'all stay locked in. You know, appreciate you guys watching Coop's Kicks. You know, and we just gonna stay dialed in, man. So I need y'all to give, give, I'm gonna give y'all time right now to go ahead and lock in, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for your boy, man. I definitely appreciate it, man. We definitely gonna stay motivated and we gonna keep this thing going, man, because that's what I do at the end of the day. Appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for your boy. And until the next time, peace.